Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. Hope you all are well. In this quick little video, I'm going to show you what I do to my Bebop videos in Final Cut Pro 10 to make them look the way they do in my cinematic videos. The first thing I do is plug my Bebop and import the Bebop videos to Final Cut Pro. The next thing I do is go through my videos and make a selection of the little sections of the videos that I want to use in my video. The next thing that I do is select an audio track. I usually like to listen to the full track before I make my videos because I like to make my audio portray the sort of mood that the video is trying to visualize. So the music really helps portray this in the video. Once I've made a decision on the audio track that I'm going to use, I make note of the beats and the tempos of the music where I can cut my videos into sequences for the music. I then go through the entire video and go through my music and start chopping and making my selections. The more attention you pay to detail on the clips, cutting and the audio waves where you do your jumps and cuts and sequences, the better the results. Now that I'm done with uh, selecting and cutting and matching them to the audio, I create a new compound clip with the short clips. And the reason I do this is because uh, different flights and different angles of the drone, they would have different exposures because the Bebop 2 has automatic exposure. Even though you can underexpose and overexpose, the exposure will still self-adjust according to the ambient light available. So the reason why I separate my clips in different sections is because I can edit all of them the same. I first use the color correction to adjust my exposure. To give it that uh, film cinematic look, the shadows usually goes up and the highlights come down. While we're not working with raw footage, this can still bring in a bit of dynamic range to the bebop footage. The next that I do is look up the teal and orange and this already puts in a little mask and a tint to it. So with this I adjust my settings and then I go from there. Once I'm done with the orange and teal I go back to the color correction and adjust my saturation. I don't usually use the overall slider, I like to use the individual sliders, the shadows, midtones and highlights to adjust the separate uh, saturation levels. Once I'm happy with the color tone of that specific scene, I add that cinematic frame and this can be found with the letterbox. Once you add the letterbox, I use the set 2 to 3.5 to 1. And this gives you that cinematic border. Last but not least, I look for the sharpness tool and I add sharpness. I don't adjust my sharpness, I just use the default settings set by Final Cut Pro 10 and I think that's good enough for the Bebop 2 footage. Thank you all so much for watching, if you enjoyed this give me a thumbs up, if you didn't give me a thumbs down, write in the comments if you have any questions and until next time, fly safe and God bless.